Hello anyone that's interested in my mod or is just here to figure out how to mod audio files for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, let's uh, let's get right into this. Well, first of all, you're gonna need uh, some different files. Okay, so you will need Python 2.7.5. You will need uh, uh, Epic Games with Unreal Engine. Uh, you will need this guy's uh, Unpacker. You will need the DBFC Audio Injector and Extractor, and you will need the U4 Packmaster, which will all be in the description below. Now, uh, for starters, you're going to want to use the Unpacker, which I have right here in Z Unpacker. Now, we'll have these files. Now, easily, you will just put the extract all file in your uh, packs folder. You don't want to keep it there, but you will use that to extract all the files from Fighter Z, and it will come out into this Z out folder, which will have all the files in game. Uh, now, from here, you will use DBFC Music 30205, which is the audio injector and extractor. I'll open another window for this. You'll go into the oh, wrong uh, drive. You'll go into the out folder. Here is characters, basic audio for the game. Now in characters, these are all the separate characters in the game. These three letter combinations all stand for one of each of the characters. Currently I'm working on Android 16, so I'll go into Android 16. Now normally here there will be a general audio file, uh, but I move all those into here so that I can more easily get to them. Uh, but from here we'll take the DBFC music audio file and let's say we'll mess with uh, There we go, cell. C-E-N is cell, right? Yep, cell. So then we'll move this into there. Open a command prompt. I'll usually copy this to make it easier on myself. Make sure it copied. Okay, go over to my D drive, because that's where I have it in. Okay, now we will use the music file. Now first we can get rid of these two the Q files and the U assets as they don't do anything for us. Now from here we can take DPFC music, extract the VASN files, which there are only three in here, which makes it real easy. Now once we have those extracted, we can get rid of these. And we can move DBFC music back in here, which I keep a backup of just in case I lose it. And now with these files, we can actually listen to the in-game files so we can tell what these are. Now I already know from my organization, which I have posted in the Discord for anyone that would like to see it. Uh, I, I know from the organization that these two are assists and this is a rematch screen quote. Uh, when 16 is on the rematch screen, standing next to Cell, if you have 16 and Cell on the same team. Uh, and this is an assist sound that 16 will say when uh, he uses a Cell assist or when Cell uses a 16 assist. So. Now sometimes these audio files won't play and in that case, you'll have to uh, figure out what it is on your own. Usually if the number for the size of the file is around five to eight kilobytes, there's a chance it won't play. Larger files uh, will always play though. So, why are you aiding me? Achoo! Oh, excuse me. Now, 
from here, we go into the Epic Games Launcher and in Unreal Engine and Library. And here you want a, to get a different engine version because the newest engine won't work with this. You will need 4.17.2, which we will find in this drop down menu and install. You'll want to launch it first to get the prerequisites in. And then you'll create a new project. I call mine audio. I already have mine open. You'll normally double click it to load it up and open it. Now from here, you will have some base files and you'll have uh, some items within uh, your project. You don't want those. Uh, you'll, I, like I did, erase everything in here. And then you, you already have the content. Now you'll have to manually create these audio character and audio. Of course, you have background music, background sound effects, UI. Uh, here's all the background music I've implemented into the game. All I want. Uh, in here we have background sound effects. I'm not sure what FTBSFIN means. FIN, I guess, means finish, but this is the uh, Ricola scream for uh, the um, destructive finish. Oh, Alright. Uh, and here I have the UI for the teleport in the main menu. Uh, so that's all that I have in the audio folder, but then character. Here are the separate character folders for every character in the game. And you'll go into these to edit the specific characters on their own. You see here's the default folder. We'll find all the default audio. This is finished for Android 16 for version 21. For version 22, I'll be messing with the partner and versus files, which is specifically uh, who 16 fights and is teamed with. If the file is empty like this, it just has the voice data. That means that it just uses the default um, audio for that character and you don't have to work with that character at all. I'm very OCD about keeping my recycle bin empty. Uh, but from here uh, you have your files that you've taken out using DBFC music. Now you'll go to that exact location that they're in, you know, character, ASN, common, audio, voice, English, partnered with cell. In the Unreal Engine, we have this. See, I have Versus Cell already. Uh, I don't have anything to replace those with yet, but usually I'll take Audacity, a free audio editing program. I'll put a link to them in the description as well. Uh, and I'll use Audacity to edit the clips that I'll download off of YouTube using some online uh, transfer tool. And uh, I, I actually have those clips here in TV, TFS DBA episodes. Uh, this is everything I've worked with so far. Uh, as you can tell, they're all down as waves, and I, ex I put them th into Audacity, edit them however needed, and take them out as waves. These are all kinds of different things I have set and ready for 16. Where is 17? Yes! A little description for each of them right here. Trunks! Sensu beans heal physical damage! Yeah, whenever you have something set and created, you can just drop it into here. And then once you have all of this filled out with everything you want in it, or you're just done for the day, you go to File, Package Project, Windows, Windows 64-bit, and this will package it in your Unreal Projects folder, which I will go to right now. This will take a minute. The documents, Unreal Projects. I always keep a backup of my audio here. I have three hard drives, so I keep it on my C drive, my D drive, which is my game drive, my R drive, which is my recordings drive, and I also keep a backup on a flash drive, just in case. Now, once this is done packaging, it will be in here, in Abridged Audio, Windows No Editor, Audio, and Content. And here are those two folders. If you go through them, it will have everything that I just showed you within them. Uh, but we want to sit here from content. And now from here is where you will need the U4 Pack Master, which you can cl uh, clone slash download from the GitHub website. Uh, now, 
With Windows 7, I was able to use the newest version of Python, but since I've upgraded to Windows 10 in the past week, I have to use Python 2.7.5. I don't know if that's the same for everyone, but that's the only way it will work for me now. Uh, so I'll just leave it, uh, so I'll put a direct download link to 2.7.5 in the uh, description below. But with U4 Packmaster, uh, which I have right here. You will copy it to right here, and you have everything you need right here. You have U4 pack, the README, the new pack. Um, the uh, project has finished exporting, uh, or packaging, I should say. So everything here is new. Now from here, I'd normally go into my red file, and I'd erase this. And I'll take my new version and drop it into here. Now while it's doing that, I'll empty my recycle bin. Okay, from here you should simply be able to double click new pack and it will create the new p.pack file. Now my mod uh, comes with the dbfighterz.exe hacked file. Uh, that also comes with the big file that this guy Black Stranger has created that I couldn't find. Uh, there we go. Here, here's, uh, here's the one. So I'll leave a link to this below. This is the actual one that comes with the unpacker, the... Uh, it doesn't come with the audio injector, but he has a link to the audio injector here, but it come, you download this pack RAR, and it comes with the unpacker, it comes with the U4 pack master, so you won't even need the GitHub, uh, and it comes with the uh, hacked EXE, which you can drop directly into here, rename or move your original executable, go into easy any cheat and disable easy any cheat using the setup, and then you can just go into red, content, packs, create a tilde mods folder, and then there you can drop your newly created new p.pack, and then your mod will be in the game. Uh, audio mod, I should say. And, and with this way, with this method of creating mods for Fighter Z, you can also create um, model mods, uh, mods for the character models, which is why U model is usually used for this. But U model is only slightly helpful for editing the audio. It's only really helpful if uh, you accidentally erase an audio clip. Uh, and you still need to work on it, or you still need to know what you're working with, you know, whatever reason you erased one and need to get it back. You can use U-Model to re-extract a single audio clip rather than using uh, un the Quick BMS uh, extractor to extract all of the files. But with new pack in there, you should be able to just go on Steam. and open uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Let me uh, plug my controller here so the because I have no idea how this game runs on keyboard and mouse. All right, once I get the game open, I'll take it out of full screen so you guys can actually see what's going on. It might take a second to open your first time. There we go, here it goes. Now 
you guys should be able to see the game. Now, one thing with mods and Fighter Z that I do tell people is that you can only really use them offline, but if you use them online, you can use them with uh, friends if they have the same mods installed. Suddenly, it's been so long since I monster. Who else have I done? Can you? Designated as Android 16. Hilariously uh, derailing one liner. Select the state world tournament arena. Select the. Get ready for a Dragon Ball Rumble. So these are all characters that I've done for my mod. And I can test them in here by uh, display back on. Yeah, so obviously you can hear everything. You're playing the wrong game! How do you feel? You're playing the wrong game! Game over. Alright. That's it. That is how you mod audio in Dragon Ball Fighter Z.